and uh, thank you so much for tuning in on Unravel with Fairy Banks, the one and only. And obviously, I'm not alone in studio. I'm with the one and only Phonix. Hey, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for putting through. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So some of them don't know you as Phonix. Some of you, but it's about the stage name, me, yeah. it's again, all these characters that you've been doing <laughs> yeah. me from generations in some to maybe even commercials. Yeah. Yeah. So, who do you Yeah. Maybe but, I, even if I have a phone next to huh? Who the hell? Yeah, Bambo Zara is Phoenix, your real name. Uh. And then I, I say, well, it's my name, yeah. So, it's not my real, real name, like, it's not in my uh, ID. It's a stage name. It's, yeah. Do oh. you, you, you know what a phoenix is? No. A phoenix is a mythical bird. Okay. It lives for a thousand years. And then before it dies, it builds a nest for itself, no? And goes into the nest and it burns into ash. Right? Komolora. Uh-huh. And then out of the ash, a better and new phoenix rises. So it comes out of the ash. <laughs> is that real? So, so you, know, you know that song? Like the rise of the phoenix. I've heard it, but yes, is it real? That's what it means. It's mythical. Oh. Yeah, it's it, it's real, but like Shaba, for example, yeah. you you've been through stuff, uh-huh. okay, and uh, stuff where you thought you would never come out of, mm. right? Yeah. And you people have written you off, mm. right? Okay. Well, you, yeah. Mm. But somehow you rose out of it better, 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 stronger. Yeah. So that's it's a yeah. So that's what it really represents. Okay. Yeah. So that's what inspired you to just yeah. go through with it and be like. That's what I want to be. Yeah. And you have a thousand lives. <laughs> like, we're thinking, not even seven lives like a cat, like thousand lives. She just has nine lives, that's it. Oh, nine. Yeah. My bad. Nine, nine lives. Yeah. Nine lives. 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 Nine no, we wanna say this. Are you are you a cat person or a dog person? Let me let me ask you quickly. What do you think about dogs? Yeah, just give me a quick what do you think about dogs? What's what do you think about dogs? Uh I think dogs are friendly. Dogs okay. are people's and, people's and friends. cats, what do you think about cats? Um I think cats are for a while, but we, yeah. So they say whatever you think about dogs, okay. that's what you think about yourself. Okay. So whatever you think about cats, okay. what you think about your partner? <laughs> <laughs> so no. You, so, Yo. So, so you think you are friendly, you are nice, and your partner is for the wild. So, <laughs> that's not me. That's what they say. They say, except I don't have a partner, so it's fine. It's fine. So he's in the world. He's in the world. Whatever yeah, he is, <laughs> that time is he's nowhere to be found. What's up? Yeah. So yeah, uh, I want to talk to you about firstly your brother. Okay. You, you have daughters. Your father. Yeah. You're an actor. Yeah. You're a wellness coach, if I can put it that way. I am. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So you were born in Johannesburg, yeah. but raised in Soweto. Yeah. So how was the experience of being raised in Soweto? Like, how did you impact your life? I I like it, you know. Oh. I mean, but you only realize later on in life. Or it was a good upbringing, mm. you know, and um, made you strong, made you able to get through some things. Well, well, um, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not saying if you were not raised in, in a in a harsh environment that you can't be strong. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm talking about first thing. Well, 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 yeah. And uh, it's very, it's nice, but at the same time, it has this thing. You know, what, you, we are very close, Okasi, well, well, mm, mm. as in. Physically, the neighbor is right next to you. Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which has its own things. Hey, they yeah. know their, your business and mm. you know theirs. Well. But sometimes you need a bit of space. Uh, mm. So like you see how driver pass and go to the pubs and you see the space there. I think we also need that as mm. people. So you, um, you know, um, we had space in the villages long ago with one house is busy, nice. and I'm still yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, but raising so it is, I like it, you know. It's different now. 
than it was before. Like yeah. this, this time where it changes stuff. Yeah. yeah. And having siblings, how was that for you? Well, I was the first born one, so um, mm. I did everything. I washed the dishes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, it's, it's okay now. I think it's still the same with my kids. I wash the dishes, believe it or not. Because I feel like. Um, Mm -hmm. I want to get it done. You know, our parents would cut yeah. each other, yeah. so they won't put the dishes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think, I think it's bad because maybe I'm spoiling them. When they're grown, they're going to have problems, you know. Um, I have daughters, so uh, maybe I should let them be more uh, independent. Uh, yeah. So you feel like you're doing it yourself because you want to do it your way, the yeah, right way. Yeah. And I'd say, well, we just want to finish cooking fast. Yeah. I like them just sitting there, they can take yeah. their phone, taking forever. And, that, and I think I also there's a part of me that has started to enjoy it. I used to hate it. You know, Lona, you, you would rather clean the house, the whole house. Exactly. Why? No, I don't know. No, no. <laughs> I think maybe I can eat it. I can eat it. Like, oh, I don't know, but dishes. Do you have, it's a do mission. You have brothers and sisters? I have a lot of brothers. Oh, they And my sister. That means your father has lots of wives. No. No! I don't know what that is. I keep on my brothers and sisters. Can you keep cousin? No, I'm like brothers from my dad. I've got like four brothers and one sister. From your mom and your dad? Yes. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, middle child, so. Yes. Oh, so that means you ignored it also. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's, not a, it's never too late to have a happy child. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, it's still a child. I'm <laughs> going to get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but like obviously a lot of responsibilities mm. as a girl. Not even so young, you're yeah. supposed to do it. Yo, that's, and not, that's not drive though. I know. There's no supposed to because you're a girl. That's, yeah. That's, like, I was t telling my sister that the other when we were going toy shopping for the for the boys and the girls, mm -hmm. when we were at a toy store, they want to buy dolls for girls and Legos and things for boys. And I thought, no, if you're going to buy dolls, you must buy them for both. Mm -hmm. I think they're both going to be parents. <laughs> right? I mean, if you're going to buy Legos, both, yeah. they're both going to be engineers, I guess. Yeah. So why are you... Because it starts like that. And mm -hmm. then you're surprised when they're older. Hurry. Oh, like, why? when I grow up, I want to be a mother yeah. or something. No, some mm. people don't want to be mothers. Mm. They want to run banks and CEOs of stuff. I can... Mm. Mm. So, for you, you, you got a lot of uh, the spotlight when you were... Because you first born, right? Yeah. It was the spotlight enough. enough. Do you yeah, feel? I'm satisfied, yeah. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let them shine. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, what it does also is, you know, you... Rata attention now, mm. unknowingly, you know. You, mm. But it's weird because I I feel her in this acting thing, I don't want attention. Mm. But at the same time, you want it for your work. It's, okay. it's, it's something that I struggle to explain. But if you don't want attention, then why are you? Okay, nah. It's like you want to do Why are you? You do it for why the art, have, for mm. the love of the art and the yeah. craft. Yes. Yeah, so when you were done with your matric, you decided to study uh, film, makeup, directing, movement, and acting. Yeah. And then after the first year, you dropped out. Yeah. <laughs> Why was that? I wasn't focused. I wasn't focused. I can tell you now. I hope I had the life on campus. And, uh, it was like, a, mm. but I think I went, to, I went to boarding school most of my matric, most of my high, high school, school level. Mm. So it was a really regimented, strict, everything was like this. Oh, just like, it was like, what's good? But strangely enough, some people coped well with it. Yeah. You know? And then, um, yeah, and then I, obviously my parents were like, wait, okay, then you're going to have to study or something. Mm. You're not studying, you have to work. Okay. Yeah, because you can't pitch a free ride. But after, after the year, then I got a bursary to do advertising and marketing and I, mm. marketing so mm. sharp that year i dropped out but the next year i studied i carried on studying yeah yeah so you didn't drop out go to the first well that's one no that's one I, yeah. <laughs> you were focused yeah it was still part of uh, working 
entertainment and mm. media. Oh, okay. But my my passion is acting, so yeah. um, I found myself navigating back to to it. Mm. Yeah. In that way. Yeah. But how did you get the drive to be focused? What advertising the time all right? Because I, it was because the first year, Gere, you know, the you they tell you well, if you don't pass here next year you can't study because okay, keep you can't study because keep So, but oh, no, you're not serious about it. So. Yeah. So and it it was nice also learning the the whole um, concept mm -hmm. con conceptualizing. So your love for acting, where does it really come from? Your love for I, performing? I think when being the first born child, I had a lot of time with my mom. Mm. And she would take me to the movies a lot. Mm. You know? So looking, being there and give you one, you know, you tend to talk alone and you play out the things you see. Yeah. And then I think after a while, how could you It's just they, uh, well, I was at school and uh, they were shooting an advert there. And, and you know, it brought back those memories of TV and movies. And then I inquired, well, how do you do that? I want to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, this guy, his name is Tim Warwood. He told me, you know, join an agency. And I joined an agency. I went to audition. I didn't get the part. Very mm -hmm. sad. Yes. But uh, the next audition, yeah. um, I did get the job. And then we shot uh, nine episodes of a thing called Tay School. Geography, it ate, that was a long time ago. But at that time, you were still in the trick. I was in the trick, yeah. Uh, That's how yeah, it developed. I was in the trick. Yeah, so how did you convince your parents? Because you didn't trick. Yeah, the parents, you know, the parents always want you to do yeah. uh, commercial subjects and things. So what yeah. I said to them was, okay, fine, I will study what I want to do, and then I'll, uh, I, I, I lied to them. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's fine, but both the person never lives. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> not bad, but yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I told them that I'm not, I don't qualify to study BCom. Okay. No, I only qualify. But that's how you qualify. Yeah, oh. to do a BA in drama. Mm. But w after a year, I will have, after two years, I will have enough courage to study the BCom. So, I said to them, my, the ultimate goal is BCom. My I can go straight. And yeah, through this. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Like, okay. But I, I think they knew for uh, oh. ah. Maybe, maybe it was just the hell waiting at least. At least we are alone. Let's just see. You know, to give my rope to hang. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Mm. And then after that, it took like maybe six years, only 2012. Yo, took Yo. forever, no? Yeah. You yeah. see, I, I left and I did, I went into the corporate industry and I worked mm. and so it's hard when you have a 9 to 5 mm. to do this thing. So, like you can't tell your boss, listen, I'm going to an, aud to an audition. Because sometimes after at the audition, even if they say your time is 10 plus 10, you get that there's a long queue. Mm. You wait for hours and the audition, part of it is a minute. Right? Exactly. And then you don't get the job or you get the job. And then you must tell your uh, boss, hey, I'm going to do this. Then you can only kill your uncle so many times. You know, like, oh, my uncle died. Did <laughs> <laughs> your uncle die? Like, the uncle's been dying. The one. other one with a big family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Your family's got bad <laughs> blood. <laughs> like, they die every yes, week. Yes, they die. Yes. Mm, no. yeah. So, uh, so you can tell you that. Yeah. Uh, and then, Mara, then, oh, you know, you pay. Passion is fire. If you sit on it, it's going to burn you, Yeah. So it burned me, I'm going to have no, and I, I have to do something. So then I did it, like, focused completely my energy on it. Going to auditions, going to workshops, you know, holding my craft all over again. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then slowly get jobs, you know. Mm. Yeah. Then you also did commercials with Yes TV. Yeah. And then you can get the Yes, yeah, it's You know, when yeah. you get work, you get it. Dividing out, and then I'll tell you. What's wrong? We put it on my. Hey, you should go to your call center, kill us. Yeah, I love it. Because I'm going to get my stand in the water. That's how I try to get it. I'm going to get it on the day. 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 I'm going
And then she doesn't normally. She how? Hey, how do you do it? How do you do it? What's it about? But how about it? Hello, baby. I will. But anyway, I feel like you know, if if you just work at it and you don't give up, because that's the difference between you see the industry is not like any other industry. You need to have a thick skin. But anyway, anyway, anything in life, you have to. Have a thick skin. You will get a lot of failure, a lot of no's, a lot of disappointment. But I feel as though God knows your struggles, you know, mm. and He's working behind the scenes. You don't know, Jorge, if you stop how close you were to getting what you want. Yeah. I know people who who we I started out with, and have been pushing and have had deep struggles, and they're doing quite well. Mm. So if they can do it. Right. You know, we can also do that, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. So, but I was telling you, you, must, you, mustn't, you mustn't look for why this won't work, why, you have to look for solutions, or okay, yeah. you use what you can with what you have. You have a lot, if I had the equipment that you guys have, mm. ooh, man, mm. uh, my mm. are, yeah. I know people who just, put a little camera and they do a lot. Mm. A friend of mine, well, uh, wrote, uh, uh, she's never written anything. Mm. She wrote it, she found somebody, they got funding, they shot it, she, the story went us after. So 2012, it was commercials after commercials, then 2013, you got an opportunity to perform for Generation. Oh, yeah, yeah I, that was a bad experience for me. Why? Because uh, I was, I was, very wet behind the ears, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad, yo. Mm. I fluffed there on set. Look, you can you will only to fluff means you, you, I forget your lines or you say them too soon. Or you, you fluff. You yeah, know? I feel like we're just trying to remember the lines. Yeah, and you're not even performing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the whole <laughs> event just you know overwhelms me, and I uh, shot one. And they didn't call me again. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. It's okay. You you learn from those things. Mm. Otherwise you can't learn if you don't go through such crap, I want. True. Yeah. So I'm hoping for after a while they will forget Wait, that I was on there. And then I can come in as a new character. The problem is that people don't forget. People especially people who you know are loyal to a show, they're like yeah. This guy was there like 10, 20 years ago. Imagine. And then he was Tabby, so now he's James. Mm. Wow. <laughs> they did call me again to come and uh, shoot something with them. Okay. And then when I told them I used to be on generations, they were like, oh, sorry, no, we can't then, have you. So I guess they did realize that I improved somewhat. Because uh -uh. you do. Because they called you, the fact that they yeah, called so yeah. they redeemed me somehow. Okay, at least I can find I can find Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you feel like a commercial was your breakthrough? Um, you know, I, I feel like I haven't really had a breakthrough as yet. Mm. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. I think in South Africa you don't have a breakthrough. There's not That's one so particular cool. thing that will say, boom, ah, okay, same life. Again. Either yeah. way, you will always have to have many, lots of many victories. Mm. You know yeah. Mm. I think uh, in our industry set up like that. So but if you had to break through, I think internationally, mm -hmm. yeah, then catch only, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It is her. No? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you once acted as a rapper. Uh, okay, that's a show called um, Majaga Tat. Mm -hmm. uh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I was a rapper on. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. It was a feature in yeah, mm. It was just one episode. Mm. Yeah. And you also acted as a police and a doctor. So if okay, you... yeah, a policeman, I was on Ikani. Mm. Yeah, Leona Nikili. It was it was a cameo. Mm. But I'm, uh, I I don't mind doing cameos, you mm. know. A lot of actors don't want to because they want a bigger part, Niana. I feel like it's yeah, small, but I, I feel like there's no small part. Yeah. It's just a small actor, but I did that one. Um, 
The doctor is the current one on on uh, on Yeah, yeah. Going. that one we started in twenty fifteen or sixteen somewhere, mm. and then he leaves and comes back. Right now he left. He, we don't know if he's coming back. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but we did shoot something uh, two three weeks ago. Um, it's called the charity. Mm. Um, it looks quite nice. We will hopefully be commissioned. So it's a pilot, you know. Mm -hmm. A pilot is like a, a demo. If you're a musician, yeah. And then you go to the record label and say, "Listen, this is my do. music." Yeah. So a pilot, that, that you go to the mm -hmm. channel and say, "Here's a thing that we shot. What do you think? Buy it or give us money to go do mm -hmm. more episodes." Yeah. Mm. So the people behind it are. They 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 quite good. You know, they've got a lot of good names around yeah. the project and mm. so regarding that project, are you behind the scenes? No, I'm I'm one of the actors. Oh, one of the actors. Yeah. Okay. I'm one of, I'm a gangster, believe it or not. Mm. Mm. Gangster. <laughs> and like when you want to do when I, if you want to be a member of a gang, you wouldn't succeed because you would be singing or something like that. No, keep saying it. <laughs> no, I was a member of a gang. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? You would be trouble because Because you... I was watching Twitter and that guy, extension, what's his name? 69, what? 69. Yeah. From Treyway, that American rapper with tattoos. Yeah. He was snitching on... <laughs> so then like, I don't know, probably be snitching. Oh. Man, you don't have to torture me. Okay, <laughs> guys. Take what you want to yeah, <laughs> it was her um, <laughs> and him. Yeah. So you just need to yeah, you guys. Don't torture. Don't waste the time. Yeah, you take me for. Don't to torture me. Mm. I'll tell you where we hide the guns. <laughs> <laughs> no car, but for. Yes. You can't do Yeah, I don't need to torture. Yeah. I'm not a very good. I wouldn't be a good gangster. <laughs> you, you yeah, wouldn't succeed yeah, a week. Yeah. Well, it's not even a week. Mara, I'm sure I'd enjoy it, but I'm not sure I'd be there. Who? Right. Who? 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 The gang. The gang members. They'll have to catch me first. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you just disappear on them, right? Yeah, like. yeah, I'm under police protection, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> so you must see them, right? So it's so, so, eh, uh, Setswana, English, Umotwana. And English, Afrikaans, and this is Zuzu. Yes. Yes. So English Afrikaans does it come from school or family? Yeah, Afrikaans is from school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I, uh, I, but I like languages, you know. Mm. Yeah, I like languages. I want to learn um, our languages and also Swahili going up more. Yeah. More. Because it's quite nice when you get to a place and you speak their language. Uh, mm. I mean, we in South Africa, we speak each other's languages. Uh, but strangely enough, if you went to France, you know, you're going to do your best to learn French. I guess, mm. uh, no, je suis parlé petit français, madame, and all of that stuff. If you went to, um, to Mozambique, you will do your best to speak Portuguese. I guess. Yeah. But strangely enough, some people came to our country long ago, I'm not throwing shade, but they can't speak our languages, so, you know. Mm. But you find my friend, Lukasamo, and he will speak quickly. Fast, fast, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And it's because he wants to acclimatize. Mm -hmm. It's strange, the mentality mm -hmm. of Europeans, you know. But anyway. I think it, it, it has to be a matter of, yeah, are you interested in learning? Because some people come with the mentality of, no, they will cater for me, not me. So. And then I must cater or not cater for me. That's not good. <laughs> it's not. No. It's not. So you mustn't have like a box mentality, basically. True. Yeah. So, did you learn it from Soweto? Yeah, oh yeah. It's not that this is Zulu. In this is Zulu is common, common, not common Yeah. But when it's in this, I don't know who is Zulu. But when it's in this, it's Zulu. 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 It's
does help uh, because if you if you look at it, all the dramas, it's is a proper it's proper So now I have friends who are Zulu yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah. So I, if I have a script, I'm going to translate this one. Then I, I learn it. Guys, Zulis, Ebas, Parisa, Guys, Guys, Food. Yeah. Eh. And then <laughs> when I get to the audition, Guys, Okuma, Guys, Zulis, Guys, Funagara. If Guys, it's one of the Kabuas, it's one of the Sebas, it's Bata. Yeah. Okay. And then I guess it depends on the character. Yeah. Sometimes the, the next one will be a chess class. Then I can flow. Yeah. Because yeah, I nice. This is what we Yeah. Mm. No matter if you mess up. And even the same thing. With the Afrikaans, mm. you, you, you drop the Afrikaans. Mm. You, there's a way of forming the words. Yeah, no. the pronunciation no. has to be in a certain way. Yeah. It's kind of like if you're reading, but it has to come naturally. Yeah, basically. so how you do this with practice. Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, your father, right? Yeah. And then you post it on Insta and Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, your fella will hit my <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she, uh, how you are father to daughters. Daughters, isn't it? You have to unbraid them, you know? mm. and then if you're in a rush, you have to quickly make their styles, you know. Yeah. The other one, the small, the young one, she competes a lot, so she, she looks to me for in pageants. Mm. So she looks to me, for what style should we do, you know? Yeah. So this, yeah. It's all, but it's a good thing, you know? Cherish those moments. Yeah, it's a nice thing. So you feel like you've improved over the years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can I can do hair. <laughs> Girls hair. Yeah, it's yeah. good now. It's good right now. So when I do get a girlfriend, ah, she'll be alright. At the saloon. Yeah, I can uh, I know yeah. she'll go to the saloon. Ma, what are you doing? Can cut her fast, yeah. Fast, fast. Mm. Just a couple of days. Plus, you know how how it is for you guys. You hate it when you have to unplay it again. Okay? So what? Yeah, the help is important. Mm. Yeah, so now we're gonna jump right into the game. Okay, yes. So you have to unravel a secret if you fail at the game. Right, open this. I don't know, I don't know. I told you everything. I don't know. What's that about that? You're gonna ask me now. No, I didn't join the game. Yes, about two. All right. 